welcome to the fifth regular expression tutorial and we have learned that how we can negate things how we can limit to certain precision and how we can make things available or not and if available then get more than one and now i was thinking that why we have this oal we can just remove it and then we can say okay that has to be one or more and then it is okay so in that case if this is not a oal this is can be gall only or it can be e it can be anything so simply we have actually done this thing that we can recognize any website name without http or without www we will do all these things how we can match all actual link or actual url later but in this episode what i am going to tell you is that we are going to learn something about the grouping system so let's just remove all these things and i'm going to remove this also so we have this credit card number we have this phone number so let's just do with phone number because it has some weird thing or maybe if we can start with the credit card because it is simple so we have four digits so yes we know we know that backslash d will find the digit but it's only going to have the single one so we have separation between each digit so yes we want everything at least one or more but you know we have learned that we only want four of them because if we say plus if we have uh, more than four yes it will also work but we only want to have four digits so in the last episode we have learned about the curly braces this will exact limit to certain precision so we want only four so yes we have achieved this we have single element filled with four digits this is good but yes you can see we also have hyphen here so yes we can say hyphen and then the same thing we need to copy it we need to paste it so this is good and again we have this hyphen so one more time paste it and one more time paste it so the problem here is this repetition of the code and actually this is same in all four cases so now what we are going to do we are going to wrap this inside parenthesis and we know parenthesis is very good to have a group but what this will going to help us in this repetition because we have this group so if i hover over it you can see here we have group hash one which is saying that okay you only have one group this is one group and if you hover over it you can see it has one group only so now we can see we have group 14949 but the same thing can we can use here just by saying backslash one so backslash one will say give me the pattern in the first group so if we say backslash one here also and backslash one here also so now we have the same code repeated but it's not repeated it is referred so now we have one group that is referred in four different places and now the problem is the credit card number is this one with spaces so we need to tell our code that yes this is good this means this uh, uh, hyphen is good but i want either this or a space so let's do everywhere yes it is good but it's not even selected anything neither this nor this because now i need to wrap this inside character set so yes to have a character set i need to have these square brackets so square brackets here here yes once more and both of these are selected so yes you can see both of these credit cards are selected but again once more we have repetition and we know what we we need to do for the repetition we need to have that particular thing inside parenthesis and then because now if we hover over it you can see if we hover over it what problem why it is flickering so you can see the second group is actually 
searching for a space here or here it is hyphen so now let's just zoom it so now what we need to do we need to refer here backslash 2 then once more backslash 2 and yes the same thing is there but even after this you can see backslash 1 backslash 2 backslash 1 backslash 2 and backslash 1 is repeated everywhere so what we can say backslash 1 means this code and backslash 2 means this code is repeated actually three times so instead of having this at three times what we can say curly braces and i want this to be three times but this is not going to work because this code is going to say i want this space or hyphen three times but i want all these things to be three times so now let's group this inside a parenthesis and this time it is uh, uh, saying that okay i want all of these things three times so this is good this is done but we are losing the pattern we have matched so what if i remove this backslash one which is going to refer to our first group so remove it and yes it is working but the problem here is that you can see now the first group is the first parenthesis you have started so actually the first parenthesis is capturing all these things so if you hover over first line first line is saying you have group one with 4949 and hyphen also in the second group you have 4949 with the space so this means now the term we have here is becoming the second group because the second parenthesis we have started which is like capturing group Two. so here we can now refer backslash 2 to have all these things so this is very easy and very useful system where we can group things and we can refer that group to avoid the repetition of the code we can refer that code not repeat so this is all about grouping and references and in the next episode we are going to match the url we are going to match the email address and we will going to learn much more things in the next episode so for that you need to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye